Picture this, you've worked hard your entire life, carefully planning for a comfortable retirement. But what if I told you that the retirement landscape you've been counting on is about to shift dramatically? In a move that's sending shockwaves through Canada's senior community, the Canada Revenue Agency is rolling out significant changes to pension regulations in 2025 that could reshape your financial future. Stay with me, because what I'm about to share could make the difference between maintaining your lifestyle and facing unexpected financial challenges in your golden years. The year is 2025 and for millions of Canadian seniors, the rules of retirement are being rewritten. These aren't just minor adjustments, we're talking about fundamental changes that could impact everything from your monthly income to your tax obligations. But here's the twist. While some seniors might see their disposable income shrink, others could actually benefit from these changes if they know exactly what to do. The question is, which group will you fall into? Let's dive into the heart of these transformative changes. First and foremost, the CRA is introducing a new framework for calculating pension income splitting. Traditionally, pensioners could split up to 50% of their eligible pension income with their spouse or common-law partner, potentially resulting in significant tax savings. However, starting in 2025, this calculation will undergo a sophisticated adjustment based on a sliding scale that considers total household income, age difference between spouses, and the source of pension income. For instance, if your household income exceeds $95,000, you might find your splitting capabilities gradually reduced, potentially affecting your tax bracket and overall take-home income. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. The government is also implementing changes to the age amount tax credit, a valuable benefit that historically provided tax relief to seniors aged 65 and older. Under the new system, the maximum claim amount will be indexed to inflation, which might sound positive at first glance. However, the devil is in the details. The income threshold at which the credit begins to be clawed back is being lowered, meaning more Middle Eastern seniors might find themselves eligible for a reduced credit or none at all. For a couple relying on combined pension income of $78,000, this could translate to a difference of several hundred dollars annually. Here's where things get interesting and potentially concerning for many retirees the CRA is introducing a new Pension Sustainability Adjustment, FPSA, factor. This complex calculation takes into account demographic trends, life expectancy data, and economic indicators to ensure the long-term viability of pension programs. While this might sound like responsible fiscal management, it could result in subtle but meaningful reductions in some pension payments. A retiree currently receiving $3,000 monthly might see adjustments of 1% annually, which could compound significantly over time. But it's not all doom and gloom. The 2025 changes also bring some potential opportunities for savvy seniors. The government is introducing enhanced flexibility in how you can structure your retirement income streams. For example, New provisions for partial pension deferral could allow you to optimize your income timing and potentially reduce your tax burden. Imagine being able to customize your pension withdrawals based on your actual needs rather than being locked into a rigid payment schedule. Let's talk about the new Seniors Financial Security Initiative being rolled out alongside these changes. This program introduces a series of tax credits and deductions specifically designed to offset some of the potential negative impacts of the pension changes. For instance, seniors who engage in part-time work or consulting can benefit from an increased earned income credit, effectively reducing their tax burden on employment income up to $10,000 annually. This could be a game-changer for those looking to supplement their pension income. The changes also affect how your pension interacts with other retirement income sources. The integration between CPP-QPP benefits and private pension plans 
is becoming more nuanced. Under the new rules, the coordination of these benefits will be more flexible, allowing for better optimization of your total retirement income. However, this also means that decisions about when to start taking various benefits become more critical than ever. The difference between starting your CPP at 60 versus 70 could now have even more significant long-term implications. Healthcare costs are another crucial factor to consider in light of these changes. The CRA is introducing new provisions for medical expense claims that could help offset increasing healthcare costs in retirement. The threshold for claiming medical expenses is being adjusted, and the range of eligible expenses is expanding. This could provide some relief for seniors facing significant medical costs, but it also requires careful documentation and planning to maximize the benefits. Let's address a critical aspect that many might overlook, the impact on estate planning. The 2025 changes include modifications to how pension benefits are treated after death, particularly concerning survivor benefits and estate taxation. The new rules create both challenges and opportunities for estate planning. For instance, the treatment of commuted pension values is being revised, which could affect decisions about pension options and life insurance strategies. Digital literacy becomes increasingly important under these new regulations. The CRA is moving towards a more digitized system for pension management and reporting. While this promises greater efficiency and accessibility, it also means seniors need to be comfortable with digital tools or have assistance in managing their pension affairs online. The good news is that the CRA is implementing a seniors digital support program to help bridge this gap. International implications can't be ignored either. For seniors who spend part of their year outside Canada or receive pension income from foreign sources, the 2025 changes include updated provisions for international pension agreements and tax treaties. This could affect how your global retirement income is taxed and what benefits you can claim while residing temporarily abroad. The changes also introduce new considerations for seniors who continue to work part-time or run their own businesses. The interaction between pension income and self-employment earnings is being redefined with new thresholds and calculation methods that could affect your overall tax situation. Understanding these changes is crucial for seniors who want to maintain some form of employment income without unnecessarily penalizing their pension benefits. One of the most significant aspects of the 2025 changes is the introduction of the Pension Income Optimization Review, PIOR. This mandatory review process, required every five years for pensioners, evaluates whether your current pension arrangement is optimal given your circumstances. While this might seem bureaucratic, it actually provides a structured opportunity to reassess and potentially improve your retirement income strategy. Environmental, social, and governance ESG, factors are also being integrated into pension management under the new regulations. This means that pension funds will need to consider sustainability and social responsibility in their investment decisions. While this might lead to more sustainable pension fund management, it could also affect investment returns and consequently pension payments in ways that seniors should understand and prepare for. The impact on different generations within families is another crucial consideration. The 2025 changes affect not just current retirees but also those approaching retirement age. Understanding how these changes might affect intergenerational wealth transfer and family financial planning becomes increasingly important. For instance, new provisions for family pension splitting could create opportunities for tax-efficient income sharing between generations. Technology plays a bigger role than ever under the new system. The CRA is introducing AI-powered tools to help seniors optimize their pension decisions and manage their retirement income more effectively. While these tools can provide valuable insights, they also require a basic understanding of digital interfaces and financial technology. The good news is that these tools are being designed with seniors in mind, featuring user-friendly interfaces and clear, straightforward guidance. Let's talk about inflation protection, a critical concern for many seniors. 
The 2025 changes include modifications to how pension payments are adjusted for inflation. While the basic principle of inflation protection remains, the calculation methods are becoming more sophisticated, taking into account regional cost of living differences and specific expense categories that affect seniors more significantly. What about housing costs? The new regulations include provisions that recognize the increasing burden of housing costs on seniors. New tax credits and deductions related to housing expenses are being introduced, particularly for seniors who need to modify their homes for accessibility or who are considering downsizing. Understanding these provisions could help you make better decisions about your housing situation. Here's a critical point about timing. Some of these changes will be phased in gradually, while others will take effect immediately in 2025. Understanding the implementation timeline is crucial for planning purposes. Some seniors might benefit from making certain financial decisions before the changes take effect, while others might want to wait for new provisions to come into force. The changes also affect how you can adjust your retirement income strategy over time. The new regulations provide more flexibility for modifying your pension arrangements as your needs change, but they also require more regular review and potential adjustments. This means staying informed and proactive about your retirement planning becomes more important than ever. Let's address the elephant in the room, market volatility. The 2025 changes include new provisions for how pension funds handle market fluctuations and how this affects individual pensioners. Understanding these mechanisms can help you better prepare for and respond to market changes that might affect your pension income. What about insurance considerations? The interaction between life insurance, long-term care insurance, and pension benefits is being redefined under the new regulations. This could affect decisions about insurance coverage and how you structure your overall retirement security strategy. The impact on small business owners who are transitioning to retirement is particularly noteworthy. New provisions affect how business assets can be converted to retirement income and how various business structures interact with pension benefits. This could create both opportunities and challenges for entrepreneurs approaching retirement age. Knowledge transfer becomes crucial under these new regulations. The CRA is encouraging family discussions about retirement planning by introducing new provisions for family financial meetings and shared decision-making processes. This could help ensure that important pension decisions are made with full family awareness and support. Let's talk about emergency preparedness. The 2025 changes include new provisions for accessing pension funds in emergencies or unusual circumstances. Understanding these provisions could be crucial for dealing with unexpected financial challenges while protecting your long-term retirement security. The social safety net aspects are also being modified. The interaction between various government benefits, including OAS, GIS, and CPP slash QPP is being refined to provide better protection for vulnerable seniors while ensuring system sustainability. Understanding these changes is crucial for maximizing your benefits while maintaining eligibility for various programs. Now, here's what you need to do right now. First, Gather all your pension documentation, including statements, benefit calculations, and any correspondence about your retirement income. Second, consider consulting with a financial advisor who specializes in retirement planning and is up-to-date on the 2025 changes. Third, start familiarizing yourself with the CRA's new digital tools and resources. They'll become invaluable as these changes roll out. Remember, Knowledge is power, and in this case it's also money in your pocket. The 2025 pension changes are complex, but understanding them doesn't have to be overwhelming. By staying informed and proactive you can position yourself to benefit from the positive aspects of these changes while minimizing any potential negative impacts on your retirement income. Don't let these changes catch you off guard. The decisions you make today about your pension could have significant implications for your financial future.